We gotta find it. Well, happy Sunday fun day to you, Chad. Hopefully your weekend has treated you well and uh, you, you've had a good time not working or doing college or whatever it is you do during your typical week. Now you've got a little bit of time to sit back and relax and we can shoot the shit on an impromptu Sunday fun day. I know it's been a little while. I've been, uh, <laughs> I've been busy with video games. It's terrible, I know. But, uh, you know, we're back. We're back in the swing of things. Now you see a little link at the bottom of the screen there, and it's in the description as well. I'm going to be uh, doing a second half to this stream on StreamMe and testing it out to see if it's a, a good alternative. Because things are, things are fucking crazy right now on the internet. And you would have to be insane to think that um, YouTube is going to last the way that, it, that it's been used for years now. Whether that's uploading videos or doing live streams. The times they are a-changing. We'll talk about that a little bit as we get into uh, Sunday Fun Day proper. So how how have you been, Chat? How have things been going for you? 
I know I've missed quite a lot. There's been a lot of shenanigans taking place, a lot of crazy shit happening over the last uh, three, three and a half weeks. A little bit out of the loop on some of it. Watched, uh, you know, a, a fair amount of things take place. The LFS stuff in France. Of course, what happened with ER and Mumkey Jones. <laughs> What's been going on with Sargon and his little carrier pigeon as they repeatedly engage for whatever reason with Kevin Logan and Christy Winters. Probably not the best strategy, but I've seen some of that. But lots of lots of interesting shit shaking up right now. Oh, everybody's everybody's doing good, are they? Well, that's that's fantastic. I'm I'm glad for you. I'm glad you've been having a good month. Almost at the end of the year now. A new year is dawning. Probably the last year we're going to be able to use YouTube like we've been using it. You know, I knew I knew the day was coming when shit was going to change, when the platform was going to be radically different than it used to be. Uh, this is going to get into a larger discussion. We'll get in that uh, into that in a minute. Got a few super chats. I'll read a few at the top here, and then we'll take a break about a half an hour, 45 minutes in. I'll hit some more, and we will try to break it up so there's not too much, too much going on. From Axe and Hale, I will destroy Ethan Ralph of the kill stream in Smash Brothers with my main, King DDD. Well, I've seen Ralph play Smash Brothers, and you could probably defeat him with anybody. He's not very good at it. He kept getting his shit, and, you know, just kicked in left and right. I watched a little bit of him pl uh, playing the game on his Bing Bing Wahoo machine, and uh, just, just not talented, not skillful, Ralph. It's fucking, uh, it's a little bit sad, I'll be honest with you. It's a children's game on a baby's console. How are you, you, you hold the direction you want to go and you hit the attack button and the game plays itself. Why are you having such difficulties with this? He even got beaten by Andy Worski, a stuttering, failed stand-up comedian who was probably high on fucking cocaine at the time. Just smacking him around left and right on the stage. You need to get a real man's fighting game, Ralph. And then you need to challenge me in it. King of Fighters, Tekken, doesn't really matter. Just something that requires more than A button. <laughs> Whether that's the actual A button or the B button. One of those two. Uh, you know, maybe a third button. Let's get really fucking crazy about it. Three buttons? Could we have a fighting game with three buttons? I don't know. <laughs> We're reaching Sega Genesis levels of Street Fighter. For all you Zoomers out there, you actually had to hit the fucking start button to switch between your punches and your kicks, and Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter if you had that fucking horrible three-button controller. Uh, Drew McTeague, money for Jim. Well, thank you. Cozy Paladin got some shekels today. You have some, my friend. Rocket Matt Coon, Chatelet the gay away. You'd better be talking or taking your colloidal silver and super maple vitality to trigger the libs. Own the libs. Also, V after dark when. I don't know if I want to run into V after dark. I'm probably going to have a really sore ass. Not sure how familiar people are with the dragon role-playing that he's alleged to have been involved in on Second Life. But um, I don't want to be strapped to a table and fucked with a plunger. I think that's on the list of fetishes. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of shit on that list. Now V, I, I, I assume, has denied this is him. Which probably means it really is him. What are the odds? That there's going to be a Sargon and V <laughs> colon 3 RP with me on fucking Second Life for years. It's a little too coincidental. It's a little bit too a little too out there. But no, I'm not gonna there's no V after dark. I cherish my anal virginity, and I'm not going to lose it to a Romanian gypsy. From Trues, we can leave behind much more than just DNA through speech, music, literature, and movies. What we've seen, heard, felt, anger, joy, and sorrow. These things I will pass on. That's what I live for. We need to pass the, <laughs> the torch and let our children read our messy and sad history by its light. We have all the magic on the digital age to do with. Earth may not be forever, but we still have the responsibility to leave what traces of life we can. Building the future and keeping the past alive are one and the same thing. Hashtag retards rise up. I was going to say, I was getting a Hallmark feel from that card. It's, it's a, you know, something you'd open up on like a celebration day. We can, we can, we can fight the power. Retards rise up. I like that. Uh, from Trues again, Solid Snake, Metal Gear Solid 2. Rick Nikita, 
enough with the lies. We all know you're Sam Hyde. Oh, I wish. I wish I was Sam Hyde so I could have I could have run a show on Adult Swim and done Jews Rock. But I'll never have that opportunity. It's not it's not in my grasp. I can't I can't fucking do anything with it. Sock Puppet One, we missed you, Daddy. Read uh let's see, four more of these and we'll move on. Point curation, shared blacklist between companies, collusion to censor political opponents is serious like price fixing or insider trading. It is criminal behavior. From double zero, what munchies you got for the stream chat? I chose buffalo tendies and kefir. From Veggie Bad, Google making an algorithm that takes down any content that it hates. So is Google making Allied Master Computer to wage war on humanity? Well, it's interesting you brought that up, Wolf actually be talking a little bit about that and finally from Medicare fembot about time lazy ass give the people a good show well this is more of a laid-back relaxed stream I know Sunday Sunday fun day proper should usually have a denoted target of interest in Minecraft I need to cover my bases there so it doesn't sound terrible target of interest in Minecraft I think that I'm safe by saying that but there's no sole focus today I just uh Wanted to do one, test out Stream Me, uh, let people know I am, in fact, not dead. Uh, there is a video coming up, too, for the people that have been asking. A little update on a previous project that was on a former Sunday Funday stream. I hope you like underwater hamster objectivism, because I have some great fucking news for people. So that video is going to be up probably in a day or two. All right, chat. Let's, uh... Let, let's take it with Veggie Bad, talking about Google's algorithm taking down content that it hates. I'm not sure how familiar people are with the different content creators that are on YouTube, but there's one by the name of ER. Puts out a lot of good stuff, did some Steven Universe videos, did stuff reviewing anime and shows and shit like that. Funny stuff, good content. It was featured in a PewDiePie video, given a recommendation saying, hey, I, I watched a video he did, I thought it was funny. Maybe go give him a sub. Very, very small shout out in a list of like 20, 25 people. So there were, there were other people in the list. But oh no, somebody has a sense of humor. They need to put a little bit of funny shit in their videos. And it's not exactly kosher. This started a bit of a shitstorm. And of course PewDiePie is a man walking around with a target on his back. Because you can't, uh, you can't have a sense of humor these days. People just can't handle that shit anymore. So articles were written. People were offended. They were very, very upset. And what do you know, lo and behold... After the recommendation goes out and the hit piece articles come out, ER starts getting flags on his channel. Now, secondary to that, not uh, not because of a PewDiePie recommendation, but Monkey Jones, another YouTube comment uh, or content creator, did some Elliot Rogers videos, some other funny stuff, had his channels uh, repeatedly struck within a very short period of time. I think he got two strikes on his two main channels uh, each, so four strikes in total, within like an hour's time. Went to appeal it, didn't go through, got even more strikes, had the channels taken down, was giving people updates on a YouTube channel that he used for gaming. I believe that's been pulled down too now at this point. So people are getting knocked off left and right. And what I find interesting about the people that are getting hit uh, is that they're not, they're not really political sphere people. They're not uh, somebody you would assume that's going to be targeted. They're not necessarily huge channels. I mean, they have a, a decent-sized sub-base. But they're not overly political either. Uh, it's mostly comedy, reviews, uh, funny shit, uh, occasionally talking about a societal issue. But they're, they're getting nailed and just uh, absolutely closed down pretty quickly. I think Mumkey had to start his own website to host his shit, and he's got a Patreon up to help fund that, I believe. Uh, ER right now is... He, he still has his channel, but I, I don't fucking know what's going on with that. It is uh, dark days. You know, I, I think Andrew Anglin was probably the canary in the coal mine when it comes to this. Uh, back when the Daily Stormer was getting basically shit on by everybody. And it was deemed acceptable. Now, it's not that sites haven't been taken off the internet before. That's happened, fuck, multiple times through the last at least decade that I can remember. Uh, sites like Ad, other sites, always constantly getting fucked with because of the content that they have on it, having to jump from provider to provider to try to survive having to go to other fucking countries to try to survive but the thing that made it interesting with the stormer and with anglin in particular was that you had the heads of these companies coming out this wasn't some automated fucking response this wasn't a letter writing campaign 
These are people at Cloudflare and just other places coming out and saying, yeah, you know what? Uh, we're not going to be associated with this. This needs to go away now. We're going to take your domain. We're not going to give you service. We're not going to do this, this, this. No protection. No, no Cloudflare. No DDoS protection. None of that shit. Just fuck off. Get off the internet. And people... Some people were upset. I, I think the people that saw that maybe it was going to set a president, uh, presidents, presidents, is it presidents day? No, I'm saying words wrong again. I, I took too many hits in my favorite futuristic sports hyperbole, so I can't say that word. But I think you you get what I'm saying. But once that kind of happened, I, I I don't know. I had an uneasy feeling about where things were going to go. Then you saw a gap. Now people have uh, given Torba shit. Uh, I know Josh from Kiwi Farms has said. Hey, he's had a fucking year to prepare. He's, he's fundraised like a million dollars. He knew this shit was coming. He knew he was going to get fucked with. He knew his site was going to get fucked with. Uh, he should have been more prepared. He should have had a plan B and a plan C and a plan D in place. But, you know, somebody posts something on uh, Gab. And what ends up happening is, I think it was Microsoft Azure, somebody that he was doing business with, basically said, hey, if these posts don't disappear within the next... I don't know how what the time frame they gave them was. An hour, two hours a day. Uh, you're done. We're, we're pulling our service and you're fucked. And again, it's, it's another example of, oh, you can kind of see a progression of things happening here, can't you? Now, we've seen... I don't even know how to... It's just... It's a lot of little isolated incidents that are kind of building up to something. So you've got these two guys, you've got these two websites that kind of get taken out or at least hampered. Then you've got alternative sites that are starting to pop up that are trying to do stuff. Uh, like BitChute, that has its funding pulled from by Stripe, I believe it was. Uh, you have Patreon removing people because, I, I don't even think it was Stripe this time, I think it was a credit card company said you need to pull these people down. You have YouTube removing people left and right. And it's just, it, it builds and it builds and it builds. And with this kind of, you know, it's, uh, I put a clip up, I should say my my friend put a clip up on his Twitter talking about the 3Ds, uh, demonetize, depersonalize, and deplatform. And it, it's a coordinated thing. You saw this with Alex Jones in particular. Kick his ass off social media, cut off his funding, and try to put him into a little regulated echo chamber where he can't really say anything or do anything. And it just gets progressively more and more and more. And the thing that kind of spooks me a little bit about ER and Monkey Jones is they're not a Torba, they're not um, an Alex Jones, they aren't uh, an Andrew Anglin. But, you know, their shit gets deemed inappropriate for whatever reason. Somebody gets a stick up their ass and they're gone. They're fucking out of here. Uh, never to be seen again. And if that's going to start happening to people that, again, aren't really aligned with all this political shit, but kind of just do their own thing and maybe they touch on it a little bit, but they're not really focused on it, oh, I got a bad feeling about what's coming down the pipeline. You know, I said when YouTube started its streaming service and, you know, you've got all the shit that's going on with their subscribe buttons, you know, the join for an amount of money, usually through YouTube gaming, the super chats, all of that, that they were going to be fairly lax on it. That they were going to take a kind of laid back approach because they wanted to compete with Twitch. They wanted to draw in an audience. Well, you know, we're getting to the point where they've drawn in that audience. And now they can start to get picky about who they let stay and who they kick off, who gets monetization and who doesn't. I don't know if you caught the news recently about the spam accounts that got removed. A lot of people lost subs. I, you know, big accounts lost more, obviously, because they're going to have more just distributed through the numbers. PewDiePie, I think, lost like 50,000. T-Series uh, lost 200,000. You know, some lost a few hundred, a few thousand here and there. But there were a lot of accounts that were kind of removed. Now, the thing that I found interesting wasn't that YouTube was telling people, we're removing spam accounts. What I found interesting was one of the little caveats that was listed when they were presenting this article that said if your uh, subscriber number because of this purge goes below the threshold for monetization and partnership uh, you don't get to keep it we're actually going to remove you from the program and you'll have to reapply <laughs> it's a very fucking sneaky approach you know remove just enough just enough to get some of those problematic individuals some of those smaller channels, some of those more active people, to not have a partnership thing where they can do certain things with their channel, to not have monetization where they can make money doing stuff with their channel. Just kind of slide it on in there. And anybody that's tried to apply for partnership or monetization after the changes went into effect over the last six months or so will tell you 
that it takes months and months and months to get a response, even if you go through the list of things they want you to do to put it into review. So people getting deplatformed and kicked off. I mean, I, I think everybody kind of saw what happened with uh, Ethan Ralph of the Ralph Retort. Uh, he does a charity stream, raises a lot of money, uh, 27000 I think, in total, uh, for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Uh, article comes out uh, saying how terrible all the Super Chat donations were. Money gets refunded. And, God, it must have been within an hour or two of the next stream that he did that all his channels were basically taken off and he was thrown off of the platform. Uh, Sargon recently lost his Patreon uh, due to comments that he made about the alt-right. I won't repeat them. I'm a gentleman. I don't want to say that horrendous racist language. That would be wrong of me. But, yeah, times, times are changing on the Internet. And... Uh, I'm not very optimistic for where it's going to go. I know that's not necessarily a rosy outlook that people want to hear on a Sunday Funday stream, but I think it's a reality. And I think it's going to get more oppressive going forward, uh, which is one of the reasons why I'm looking at streaming. I mean, I've tried other streaming sites before. I used to go to Hitbox before I got banned on Hitbox. Even tried Twitch, but I was preemptively banned on Twitch. Ugh. Not that you really could do much over there. I mean, they're one of those sites that really is hammering home that new policy of if you do or say anything anywhere on the Internet, not just on our platform, we will throw your ass off. You're going to be gone out the fucking window. Ass kicked right out the fucking door. So I, I'm hoping Stream Me will be a good alternative and that it'll work out and that I can do my little art contest and we can laugh at retards and relative peace without getting fucked with. That would be... That would be great. That'd be that'd be neato, wouldn't it? But uh, fingers crossed. Who knows how that's gonna work out? Uh, Twitch is cancer. Yeah, uh, F for Twitch. Yeah, no, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that chat. Twitch is shit. I mean, fuck. Look at somebody like Destiny. Destiny is probably one of the biggest leftists on the internet. He's very liberal. I don't think anybody could look at Destiny and say that guy's a conservative. That guy's a right winger. And I'm pretty sure his ass is petrified of how they're going to react to him on Twitch. I know he's been real fucking cautious with his subreddit and with his social media accounts because they're on your ass. Of course, I think the only person that's actually impervious to this shit is Dark Side Phil. The only human being that exists that could walk through a fire fueled by shit and come out fine on the other end. I don't know how he does it. God knows Phil says stupid shit everywhere on the internet. But that man is touched by God. Somehow he survives it. But yeah, I, I wouldn't want to move to the Twitch platform. I don't have big titties that I can shake for the camera. And I say naughty things. And I'd be fucking ejected really quickly. Oh, that's right. F, uh, all, all those Fs. There we go. Just act stupid? Is that his special fucking gift? Do I have to run around acting like I'm touched in the head to survive? <laughs> Do I gotta go full retard on this? I mean, I could try it. I suppose if you're fucking retarded enough, legitimately retarded enough, you could say anything you want and they have to accept it because you don't think so good. So they can't really come down on you. Is that going to be the next YouTube trend? Is that the next cycle we're going to see? Are a bunch of people doing retard voices <laughs> while they talk about the Jews? <laughs> Is that how you're going to get around? All the new censorship and uh, the approach that YouTube is taking is a way to outsmart Google. You can't fuck with me, Google. I may be a conservative, but I am fucking retarded. Checkmate. Maybe. Maybe that's the solution. Maybe that's the way forward that we're looking for. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I don't want to get too amped up. Again, it is a Sunday Funday stream. But I, I thought I, I had to talk about it. I like ER's content, so it kind of, it bothered me when I saw that his shit got flagged. Uh, and Monkey Jones, too. I don't I don't see why his videos would be getting flagged either. They were up for so long. Uh, and from what I understand, people already reviewed them, so having them flagged again and then taken down just kind of sucks. I, I, you know, I, I think he said Dick Masterson, or somebody helped him uh, get a website up so he could put his shit up. And like an Apple's iTunes feed or whatever. The f I, I don't know. I don't do that shit. 
but he's got it covered. But it just sucks, because I don't like to watch shit that I might... I don't like to see shit that I might watch get yanked off the internet. And, fuck, you gotta walk on eggshells. You gotta walk on eggshells around this place. When you upload a video, or when you stream something. Or it's just gone. And then, where are you gonna put it? Pornhub? You're gonna have to... <laughs> You're going to have to have some interesting tags in there. Oh, there's so many jokes going through my head right now. Isn't that right, Caesar? But, <laughs> well, we'll move on. We'll move on from that. Oh, are people having issue with the stream? Is it dropping out on you? I've got green bars over here, so I'm not, I'm not seeing if it's got any issues. It's showing me good. Hopefully it's coming in well for you. Wait, are you saying you can't connect to Steam or the stream? I can't help you with fucking Steam. Maybe you gotta give Gabe Newell some more fucking money. He makes you pay 20 cents per friend on his fucking platform. You gotta feed Gabe. Alright, that man has an appetite. It's 20 cents a friend, send him a fucking check, and you should be able to connect pretty quickly. There we go. All right, it's good. People are saying it's fine. It's okay now. I guess they didn't like what I had to say. Okay, I've, I'm sorry, Google. Please stop punishing me. We'll talk about funny things now. I'm done ranting. That was my 20-minute rant. Google, it's over. Please, please leave me alone. I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. Give me green bars so I don't get punished. You know, we need the... You know, I, I'll tell you what, Google. Uh, how can we do this? I got gotcha. you. You know what? I got it. I think we need to play a musical intermission. I'm going to grab a drink. And I, I think this will lighten the mood up. I know you guys like rap. I know you guys love my musical selections. I've got a fucking blazing hot track for you. Now, I can't, I can't give you Eminem's new rap album. His follow-up to That's an Awfully Hot Coffee Pot. I know that's the shit you all want to hear. But uh, I think T-Dub should do a good job. So we'll take a small intermission make sure this actually fucking works before I try to do this. Because you really want to see the video to appreciate it. Can we, can we get this to play? Oh, I think we can. All right. Short intermission. I'm going to grab a drink. And go take a piss if you need to. Here's the banging tunes of T-Dub. Yeah. You wanna play with your Mario game? I had a big Rams as a big tame. Cause Mario might be super, but I'm super duper with a big tuper. Cause no one's gonna hit it like me, cause Mario has a big C. But I got an A plus on that test because it's a big mess. Mario might be a super man, but I'm gonna have a big tame. He might have went to the past, to the, to the future, but I'm gonna make it. New game had a neutral. Man, the Mario can't play like the P dubs on the May. Man, you wanna hit it down with the big town? Man, he can't be like the big brown. My boy Emo, he has a Simo. And Seth and Emo, once they get together, they're gonna be the team of the meme. You see, my boy Seth, he can rap like the mess. That's on the test. Man, you can't even hit it with a big mess. Man, you can't beat him because he's gonna see him. Man, he's gonna hit it down with a big town. I'm gonna make it round. I had a big town in A town. Man, I went, I came from a place named Charlotte. My boy Kevin Bartolotti. He's gonna hit it down like a Bartolotti. He can skateboard like the top boy Tony Hawk. But you think Tony Hawk's so cool? Well, Kevin got some more of the toilet. He's gonna unfold it like the toilet. Man, once that man made a toilet, everybody thought it was so awesome. But it's going to be a toss -em up between my boy Kevin and that man. And see, today is the day that I'm going to play the game with the big brain. I'm going to show you what's up and what's not up because it's going down in my town. You write me down in your books because I'm going to have the hooks of the big tricks. Man, all the ladies want me. But it's gonna be a game that plays the rain of the Mario. See, he is a princess, but I get all the others. 
pot princesses. He wants one, I want all the others because it's gonna be a sucker. See, I'm the pimping man of the big ranch. Then you want to be in the band. Well, I'll be your main man to get you out of that rant. Because it's coming down with the town. I feel bunny noses are going to be found in the big round town. Play this, boys. Because it's going to be with the toys. Trying to quit playing with your toys. Because the Mario ain't even a Tario. You want to play the, the Barrio? I have the toys and the moys. And everybody knows it's coming down with the toys. Doys, other boys. Man, my boys don't even play with games anymore. He, they're on the rings of the dames. Man, you wanna hit it down with the town? I had a big brown. I had a big town of a bound. I rebound that ball and shoot it. I'm gonna make it because I'm the top, the, the, the top dog. Man, my, when they want something good, they can come to me. Cause I'm gonna be like to see, fast and nice. But I make it hit it up like a little spice. Oh, that was that was the hot beats of T-Dub. I hope you can appreciate that shit, chat. That's a little spicy something extra for you. I know. You don't hear rap music like that anymore. That's, uh, that's your typical Nintendo fan singing his love of the console. That's who Ralph is playing Smash Brothers with and losing to. <laughs> Ralph is getting his ass kicked in a child's game by T-Dub. And T-Dub is just blazing hot fucking raps to a real sick fucking beat. Oh, Ralph, I'd be ashamed. T-Dub is juggling your ass. He's air juggling your ass right off the stage. What are you going to do about that? Good old, good old Nintendo. The best fan base in the world. I'm glad, I'm glad you all like that, chat. I'm glad, I'm glad you all enjoyed that. Like I said, this isn't really a very focused stream. Uh, just more kind of a transitional thing. Try out stream me, see how we can go. Maybe we can fucking break the site. Let's see if we can do that. That might be fun. But in the meantime, because, you know, I want to entertain, I, I thought I could read a, a story to you. It's a, it's a very romantic story. I don't know how many of you are in relationships with somebody that you love very deeply, but this is a story of a man that loves a woman quite a bit. Now, I, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to spoil it, so I'm going to put up a spoiler image, okay? Uh, this has nothing to do with the story, wink wink. Let me just uh, grab the story of a, a man in a, a beautiful, committed relationship. Oh, let me, let me grab this here. <laughs> and of course, this comes from uh, Reddit, where all the best relationship advice on the internet originates, in the subreddit Relationship Advice. I don't know. You can tell me what you think. Uh, this is this is a real post given multiple Reddit golds because of course it would be. Why would it not be given Reddit golds for this? Wife told me she wanted to experiment. I obliged. Then she attempted to eat my shit. Throw away account because my wife follows my regular account here. Myself, 28 male, wife 26 female. And I have admittedly had very vanilla sex throughout our three year marriage. We had our first kid a year ago, and it seriously slowed down our sex life. However, a little under a month ago, she approached me about trying new things. She'd been hanging out with a group of moms in our neighborhood, and one of them told her that she and her husband tried pegging, and it completely transformed their marriage. My wife told me that she wanted to try... <laughs> My wife told me that she wanted to try pegging me as well, to spice things up. At first, I thought it was a joke, but soon realized she really actually wanted to peg me. I'd never done ass play before, and I've always <laughs> lived by the philosophy that the anus is solely an exit. But my wife made it clear that this was important to her, so after a few days, I obliged. The next weekend, she pegged me, and everything was surprisingly enjoyable. That's how you know it's a Reddit post. He actually was pleasantly surprised. Additionally, the week following the pegging was one of the best weeks we've had together since the birth of our child. We were back to our old sex life, doing things like having sex before work and even waking each other up with head. However, the next weekend, she told me she wanted to peg me again. I was slightly confused as to why the last week of sex wasn't cutting it for her, but I agreed. This is when things took an extreme turn. During the second pegging, while my wife was inside of me, 
She grabbed... She grabbed my hair, craned my neck to the right, and pressed our foreheads together. <laughs> I had never seen her take control like this, and thought it was very hot, until she, w until she looked me in the eye and whispered, I want your shit. I pulled my face away and asked her to repeat, and she said, I want you to shit on me. I pushed her off of me and asked her if she was joking, and she started crying. I felt like a fucking dick because she thought I was kink-shaming her. In a way, I was. Because I thought the request was far too extreme. I ended up leaving for the night and stayed with one of my close friends, but didn't tell him what happened. It's it's a beautiful, loving relationship. I, I see some people saying, uh, this is awful. Other people saying, it must be a troll. I'd like to remind you, it's Reddit. It's probably not a troll. After that incident, my wife and I hardly talked all week unless it was related to our son. At the end of the week, I asked my wife to talk about what happened. She told me again that she wanted me to shit on her and that it meant a lot to her. I thought it was sickening, but she claimed this was her deepest, darkest kink. I couldn't understand how and why my shit excited her, but she insisted that she always wanted this. We fought about this for about a week, and after watching some scat porn and reading articles by people who also shared this kink, I tried to put myself in my wife's shoes. I told her that I will shit on her if that is what she that is what will turn her on. She was so happy, and even though I was still completely nauseated by the desire, I wanted to satisfy her. That brings us to tonight. We were having sex for the first time this week when I regrettably confessed to her that I had to take a shit. She perked up with a smile, sensed my discomfort, and began stroking my hair and whispering encouraging things to me. I still really didn't want to go through with it, but since I had promised her, I pulled out and we ran to the bathroom. She got into the bathtub, and I hung my ass over the side of the tub. I started pushing, but unsurprisingly found it very difficult to successfully shit on my wife. I turned my head around to see my wife staring up and smiling at me, waiting for me to finish. With enough time, I was finally able to get a turd to start coming out. I could hear my wife breathing heavier beneath me as my asshole started to open. However, before the turd was able to drop on her chest, I felt a sensation around my asshole. I turned around and saw my wife, the love of my life, the mother of my son, attempting to catch my shit in her mouth as it fell out of my asshole. I was horrified that she would try to do this and tried to pull the shit back into my body so she couldn't receive it in her mouth. Seeing what looked like an attempt by her to eat my poo, brought me close to throwing up. As I clenched my butt cheeks together to try to stop the shit from reaching my wife, the clenching cut off a very small piece of my crap, and I heard it land somewhere beneath me. I was too scared and disgusted to look at my wife to see what she had done with it, so I ran out of the bathroom to clean myself. As I was sitting in the other bathrooms, thinking about how I will ever be able to look at her in the eye again, I heard footsteps approaching. My wife lightly knocked on the door. I didn't respond. It was on the verge of throwing up some more as I thought about what had just happened. She walked away and then I got a text from her thanking me for fulfilling her wish and asking me to come to the bed. I've been sitting in the living room typing this for the last half hour, scared to go face my wife. You gotta love, gotta love Reddit. Oh, no, I, I, I truly believe that is a, a bonded, loving relationship that a typical Redditor would be engaged in. I don't know about you, chat. That's that's love. If you truly love the woman, you'll shit in her mouth. Just hang your ass over the bathtub. That's what she's looking for. Don't kink shame her, chat. All right, she's come to grips with her desires. She wants to eat a little bit of poop. <laughs> and he's, he's willing to go to bat for her. Hey, she fucks him in the ass and then, you know, loosens him up good enough. She can get a big, nice one. Just dropped right on her. Just plop right on her fucking forehead. Happiest girl in the world. <laughs> I see some people saying this will end in divorce. It'll probably end in a few communicable diseases. Somebody's probably going to have a stay in the hospital. I don't know if eating other people's shit is necessarily sanitary. I don't know. Maybe they're an Indian couple. And it reminds them of the old country. <laughs> Who knows? But it couldn't be. They were in a bathtub, not on a street. What am I saying? 
how culturally insensitive of me to say that. Clearly, I don't know my I don't know my diverse groups on the internet. Eat the poo poo. Yep, as the as the African government official said, they like to eat the poo poo. He uh he clearly nailed it. Clearly nailed it. Well, I think now would be a good time to read a few super chats. I think this is the appropriate moment to do that. So uh, let me see where I left off here. I'll pick up with a few more. Take a, a minor break to read some of these. Let me just give me one second to pull up the page. Ah, there we are. Left off with Medicare Fembot. This is OG says, more homie. Good to see you're live, Jimbo. Any take on the weeb game censorship? Apparently 2D bosoms are just too much for gamers to handle. I, I am aware that Sony is censoring everything. They don't want kids to see tits. God knows there's nothing a teenage boy doesn't want to see, like a pair of giant jiggly breasts. Thank you, Sony, for protecting them. How is it that the console that T-Dub loves, I'm talking about Bing Bing Wahoo, has uncensored versions of games that Sony won't allow on their fucking platform? I, I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. I don't know what Sony's doing. It's a weird every other situation with them. They have a really good console and then they fuck it up. And it's like they're transitioning into fucking up again. You know, they got really arrogant after the PS2 and they, they kind of fucked up the PS3. And they started to recover with the PS4. And now it feels like we're transitioning into the PS5 era. And they're going to start it off by basically alienating all the developers that would put shit on their consoles, but won't anymore because you can't have a nice pair of tits in your game. Not sure, not sure if that's the best business approach if Microsoft's not completely pants-on-head retarded. They will seize this as an advantage and let all the giant anime titties and cel-shaded breasts in the video games on their platform and just not give a fuck. They'll follow Nintendo's lead. Tits are in, fuck Sony. It's a good marketing campaign. Uh, from Ben Dover, Papa Jim is back. Sock Puppet 1, are you having fun with the gay cowboy simulator? Well, there's so many of them. You have to be more specific. There are just too many good gay cowboy simulators for me to be able to pick one off the top of my head. Kate Ariona, uh, Pa Jim, give us children more attention. New Guardian Jim, you can't just groom us and disappear anymore. From Jorge Blanco, you, sir, are a bully. Hurtful. Charles Sammons, Jim, you absolutely can groom us and disappear. From Fash Bandicoot, press A to abort a random Jewish baby. From Nick Pylers, let me just hop on the What's Going On Jim bandwagon and ask, are we going to get back to getting regularly scheduled content, or is it just going to be weekly streams? You owe us nothing, just asking. Uh, as I said earlier, there will be a video up in the next couple of days. Uh, I will be streaming too, uh, but more than likely, if, if Streamy works out on Streamy, might as well just be ahead of the curve uh, rather than behind it. From Trump Nation, check out the Southern Poverty Law Center. I'm sorry, check out the Southern Poverty Call Center on stream.me for a good laugh. He's so edgy that after just two weeks of streaming, PayPal suspended him. Well, that's how you know it's good. You know, I used to love ventrilo harassment. Uh, there were some fucking great videos back in the day. I, mean, I know it's a little bit different, but uh, good shit. Good shit. I like prank calls. Uh, from your mother, Jim, if you bang on about Sergoy and the skeptics for four hours, I'm going to find whatever Irish pub you're living under, wrap my hands in cigarettes and use needles, and punch cancer aids directly into your system. I'm duly noted. From Glip Quacks, just here to enjoy a bit of the old internet while it lasts. Well, enjoy it while you can, because it's probably not going to last much longer. From Trump Nation, retards rise up, RRU. From Commissar Warder, is Goblin Slayer our guy? Uh, it's actually pretty good. I I've been watching Goblin Slayer. I've enjoyed it so far. Uh, not, a, not, a bad little, not a bad little anime. From Joakim Hawk, Richard Spencer for President, 2020. From Samurai Jamdown, what is this? Uh, Retro Arch on Switch is the best thing ever. Star Ocean and Brigandine. Yeah, now, I, I, God, I, you're probably one of the only other people that I've ever heard mention the game Brigandine. Played that on the PS1. That was some really good shit. For some reason, uh, YouTube is giving me a message here in between Super Chats. I've seen it in chat, too. Welcome to live chat. Remember to guard your privacy and abide by our community guidelines. So I guess they don't want you to dox yourself, which is a really fucking weird thing to say. 
I don't think anybody in chat was really jumping at the opportunity to do so, but YouTube would like to remind you, don't be fucking stupid. And guard your privacy. Uh, Bubblegum Gun, Trump, uh, Trump has and will always be a New York Yankee Jew shill. He sold you out, America. At least Hillary would have deported the illegal Jews. I think Hillary would have been too busy dropping barbells on people that got in her way. Uh, and probably having a, a doctor, a plastic surgeon, try to fill that hole in her tongue in. Because that looked pretty fucking gnarly. I don't know if we wanted her in the Oval Office pissing on the furniture and seizing up every five minutes. Follow God's path or feel or Tesla's wrath. Should Sweetie Squad members call each other groommates? You are, you are free to call yourself and other people whatever you'd like to. Pizzy Wizzy 506, hit or miss. Them skeptics never hit, huh? You got a child, well, I bet he never lift, huh? He's going to find another dab and he won't miss you. He's going to scrit and hit the trash like he or we was. And that's uh, obviously song lyrics, but nobody's attributed that to an artist. I wonder what the artist's name is for that hot, hot fucking, uh, <laughs> hot fucking bar we just heard. Helix Snow, are you really going to make me choose between you and the Patriots? I'll go watch the Patriots. MCW, Jim, my lady is Asian like yours. Everyone thinks they are sweet and submissive. Boy, are they wrong. My now wife is a raging hell beast. Careful who you marry, Jimmy. She could bite your crank off. I'll read a few more of these and move on. Sean Turner, are you a fan of Sargon anime on YouTube? There's a fucking Sargon anime on YouTube? No, I've never even heard of it. From Bendover, Ubiyami, Laden Star, glad you're back. For a minute there, I was afraid your channel was aborted. Toki 12 Jim, will you ever release the Better Health video? <laughs> God. Uh, at this point, I think everybody's pretty much hammered it. Kind of missed the boat on that one. I, again, if you want really good shit on Better Health, I would recommend Mamology 101. Uh, he's got like fuck, 15 videos on it. It covers pretty much every aspect. Uh, good shit overall. From John Mike, my name is Jim and my balls jingle. Or my balls jiggle when I fart. And finally, Mysterious Senior Hitler. So the hamster guy bought new hamsters. I, for one, welcome our new objectivist Uber hamster overlords. Uh, yes, he did. I will be talking about that in the video. Uh, he's back. Progress is moving forward. An underwater objectivist utopia of hamsters is going to be a reality very soon. Uh, and we need to we need to support this motherfucker. Uh, you know, just give him ideas. Maybe there's an engineer out there that can help him build those little tanks that he wants to build. He wanted underwater tanks for his hamsters, and I think that's reasonable. Because you might have a war underwater, and you don't want your hamsters to die. Maybe there's like a mouse colony next door. And those mice, they're just little fuckers, aren't they? You need to be able to deal with those bitches. So you have to arm them with tanks. Just makes the most sense. I don't see what the fucking issue is. Okay. Take a break from that. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Yeah, he, he is back. He is back doing his thing. And uh, that's amazing. Oh, speaking fucking amazing. <laughs> I gotta find the right moment on this, because... You've probably... Holy shit. In fact, I need to show this to you, because you're probably going to think I'm making it up. Window capture. Okay. This is on the Lego account. I just... Just tell me if this comes off as... I, I don't know if this is how they fucking intended it. This is a story of their founder. Okay? Uh, the story of the guy that's responsible for all the Lego shit. Let me see if I can find it. There's this bit here when they're talking about his fucking life story. And I laughed so fucking hard when this played. Uh, here we go. <laughs> this is it. Alright, this is from the Lego movie about the founder. Just give it a listen. Tell me what your thoughts are on this particular line of dialogue. Last one. I just didn't imagine that it would come to this. I know. It's hard to understand. But at least now, it can't get much worse. But it did get worse. Shortly after, Ole lost his wife. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that? Well, honey... At least things can't possibly get any more fucked up than they are right now, Q narrator. And that's when his wife died. Just the unluckiest motherfucker on the play the fucking planet. I just something about that. It's just 
it's just wonderfully shot. It's almost like the person had a fucking sadistic sense of humor. It was like, I, I have to put this line in here just like this. this. I know. It's hard to understand. But at least now, it can't get much worse. But it did get worse. Shortly after, Ole lost his wife. But... If only you knew how bad things really were. The Lego movie. <laughs> it's just full of positivity. Oh, your wife's dead. Cry some more, Ole. We're lapping up your tears at the Lego Corporation. I just, I love that fucking line. I had to clip that. I've, I've got that clipped. If I were Gator, I'd have it on a soundboard. Because it's just the perfect setup and the perfect delivery. Things can't get fucking worse. And that's when his wife died. Beautifully fucking done. Beautifully done. Okay, chat. Well, I think I think we're approaching the end of the warm-up stream here. Like I said, I wanted to split this up into two. Wanted to do a little a little Sunday fun day here. We will have a normal Sunday fun day next week with with some good shit. Some good prepared shit. But this is mostly a stream me test. Now, I've set it up on stream me uh, cuz apparently you can do this where you don't even need a fucking account to comment. That's what I've been told. It's set on trolls mode. So if you go to watch the follow-up stream on StreamMe, you can say whatever the fuck you want, and you don't need a registered account to say it. How is that not fantastic? I wish more fucking websites did that. But of course they don't. Because why would they? That's fun. You can't have fun on the internet. Now, the link is obviously in the clip that you're looking at. Or, I'm sorry, the image you're looking at, stream.me slash Mr. Uh, the link is in the description. I'll finish up reading the super chats that we have. I'm going to go eat a little dinner, so after a half an hour, we will start up the streamy stream, and we will do the art contest. I've got all these fucking pictures people submitted for V. Voring Sargon. We've got we've to look at those, because why wouldn't you? And then, you know, I, I, you know, I was working on a Barbara, or Barbara Chandler video, and, uh, you know, I, I just want to talk about it. I, I specifically want to talk about Chris and the dimensional merging that's happening. I don't know if you're aware of this, but we are going to merge with a video game. And well, maybe we've already done it. I don't know. It's hard to keep it's hard to keep track of delusional people. I'll talk about that. So our contest a little bit of a little bit of uh, dimensional merging as a test for stream me. So let me read through these super chats. I'll get them out of the way. Go have a little bit of dinner. And then we will hop over to stream me and See how things go. From Palmer Eldrick, have you noticed that in your absence a lot of seemingly normal people became really gay? Yeah, yeah, no, I've noticed. It's magical, isn't it? From Gorgira, thoughts about Ralph being a thought on his show. Oh, bringing a thought on his show. I, I guess I missed that episode. I've been uh, predisposed with other things, so I, I didn't notice it. Uh, like an e are we talking like a streamer or like a, a porn star? What are we talking about? From Kim Jong Un, hashtag free my. N <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say it like you spelled it. Free my nine 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 or monkey. Yeah, it's uh, it sucks that monkey got the boot. From Data Two Hearts, glad to see you aren't dead. No, I'm not dead. James Binick, press H or press H to Hampshire. Sweetie Squad, rise up. Nay X three hundred woo it started happy to see you, Medicare Fembot. Did you see Godspeed Live's brutal, ver <laughs> brutal vi about Donga? Uh, no, I have not. But if you want to send a link about that to my good friend Mr. Antibully on Twitter, maybe I'll play some some caps of that. Uh, you know, a few select bits over on Stream Me. Because we all know Donga is he has his fight coming up. For those unaware, a again failed stand up comic from Canada is going to be fighting a crippled Native American in the Octagon. It's probably going to be a battle to the death, based on the things they've said. And that's coming up January 19th. So, uh, you know, I, I, I'm just excited, waiting for this to uh, probably not happen, because I think he's going to wheel his way out of it. I'd say back out of it, but you need legs to do that. He's going to squeak his way out of it. Just right back down the ramp that he had installed this trailer. Reluctant Realist. Shout out to www.autoadmit.com, the most prestigious law school discussion board in the world. 
Spike Strat 13 thought Jim got hampshired. Uh, nope, I'm still here. Shecklemeister, I saw you were in the chat of uh, Ralph versus Worski smash stream. Do you think they are white basketball Americans for playing this badly, especially for Worski, who claimed to be a hardcore vintage gamer? I, I don't know. I, I couldn't gauge whether it's good or not. I mean, I have played Smash before, but I'm not a Smash player, so I couldn't... It just didn't look like... Oh, well, specifically Ralph. Uh, Ralph in particular was pretty goddamn awful. I think I think Worski actually gave him a pity victory, where he basically threw himself out of the arena. I don't know, if maybe, I'm sure you all have similar situations like this when you were younger. You'd have a friend over to play a video game, and your friend was fucking ass at it, and he knew if you just kept beating them, they wouldn't want to keep playing with you. So what you do is you try to fake being bad enough to let them win, and you'd give them a victory here or there, as like a carrot on a stick kind of thing, to just keep them playing with you. That's kind of what it felt like. It felt like Worski was giving him a carrot on the stick and throwing his ass out of the ring. Uh, Victor Phantasm Boss, we were worried. Let me guess, uh, you let Jade cook the turkey for Thanksgiving, got sick. Then the family wanted to extend Hanukkah. Whatever it may be, you missed a lot of lore. Sargon has a second life with V. I am I am aware of the dragon role-playing. It would be hard to miss two, gro two grown men having gay, furry sex on second life with each other. Cecil McFly, Dad, why do you keep disappearing? Well, I am Irish. And they do call... Well, yeah. Retro Rocket, thanks for giving me entertainment on the sanatorium of a website, Jim. Enjoy the shekels. Mr. Suck My Balls 32, we missed you, Jim. Great to have you stream again. Next at 300. It's kind of sad that we don't have several rooms like we uh, do have on Twitch. Twitch is cancer, though. Where is the Sweetie Squad moving to? Again, that's stream.me backslash uh, Mr. Medicar. Lord Akira, Jim, are you a sports ball fan at all? Any favorite teams? Not really huge into sports, to be honest with you. Oh, shit, just jumped a little bit there. From Dobie's Duberman. Were you around for Prank University, Prank You, a.k.a. Zoo Stampede in City, and Naked Fast Food Employees, and have any thoughts or memories on it? It's not actually ringing any bells for me. From Kitty Style, Alex is a stupid neger. Dirty Pants. Hey, Jim, did you ever hear about the whole uh, shitstorm with Nintendo's Russian CEO being caught on stream treating his employees like shit? Uh, no, I actually missed that. Hopefully there's a video. Heather S. Welp, if Hollywood can't make children cry by molesting them, I guess they figure they can make them cry by making them thinking about their parents dying. Richard Murphy, who's just in. Boogie1488 has been found dead after cooking on the, er, choking on the remains of Sargon's almost son. Tragic. The Elven Biker, I appreciate what you do. Buy yourself a taco. Uh, thank you. The Coma Timin. It's like poetry. It rhymes. From Chikai, the pregnancy is very short. Kraut, sublimity, <laughs> Kraut subliminally killed Sargon's child. From Too Random to Ban, thanks for the content and live streams over 2018. Merry Christmas and have a happy new year uh, to you as well. Rocket and Zeno, will you release the DeFranco video? John Jones, Monday Matt sniffs his stepdaughter's knickers. Diablo Samurai, 1985, I miss these. My Sundays have not been so fun except for the rest of the constant spurging. Uh, there has been a lot going on. From John Titer, add me on Skype at live. Paul Joseph, 30, I was the one that got the initial attention on him and can give you the details of how lazy Jared Holt is. <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I remember Ralph sung Jared a fucking song about uh, naked cowboys at Ram Ranch. And he was just, he couldn't be fucked to deal with it. Uh, Lepa, I'm a Nintendo fan. Good on them for ass and tits. Uh, yeah, it, it's remarkable Nintendo is the one allowing it in. Ashley Morrison, are we in the death throes of the internet and general edgier content? Or are we at the precipice before the pushback by us uh, goinards? Um, I, I don't know if there's a pushback left. I mean, they, they the financial system is pretty much locked down. I suspect a lot of what's happening is smaller platforms that want to be mid-tier payment processors or want to do financial business with a streamer or a YouTuber or a website are kind of on their knees when it comes to the bigger guys, whether that's banks or credit card companies, uh, because they can basically do whatever they want and say, if you don't abide by whatever our decision is in this particular case, we're going to cut business with you entirely. It makes me wonder if stuff that goes on with like Patreon and just other companies isn't necessarily always motivated by a leftist ideology and might in part be motivated by pressure being put on them by the bigger guys. And they wouldn't be able to come out and say that's what's happening. I, I don't know. 
as for the internet and death throws, yeah, you can kiss general edgy content goodbye. If anybody remembers what YouTube used to be like, you could enter any profanity or racial slur in the search bar and get uh, thousands, thousands and thousands of hits and results for videos to go watch. You try that now and you get nothing. In fact, if you do get something, it'll be a Google-promoted video talking about why that's wrong and you shouldn't be looking up that term. And that's kind of like it is everywhere. All these fucking uh, platforms are doing kind of the same thing. From Ashley Morrison, oh no, I already read that one. Craptastic one, we must secure the future of Ireland and future for Irish children. For Gone Jim, how many furries are going to get off to the new Sonic movie? And would you live stream yourself watching it with Chris Chan? Ralph sucks at video games. I do not want to go see the fucking new uh, Sonic movie. It looks like an abomination. We'll take a look at the uh, posters over on Streamy. From HTRTU. During the last kill stream you were on, Sargon kept talking about how late it was, 4 a.m., and asking, don't you know what a time zone is? Well, why wasn't he asleep with this allegedly loving wife? Because she hates him now. I wish you had pointed this out. I don't really keep track of what fucking time zone he's in, though. That's <laughs> a, a lot of work to keep track of Carl. He's talking to lords or whatever. High Lord God Kings. All right, so he's, he's jet-setting around the world. Hard to keep track of his time zones. From Barack Ogaya, I believe the Reddit post was real. After all, there's a large amount of people who follow Sargoy, so that can... Oh, so that he can poop in their ears. From Politic18, Punish Creepworks is here. Can you get him on? Um, I don't see him currently in the chat. I, I can aim for next week and try to get him on. Maybe do like a call-in thing via Skype. Get uh, people to pop on and uh, say what they want to say. Don't really fuck with Discord, so it'd have to be Skype or maybe Google Hangouts. We can try to work that too. From Chris, hey Jim, have you seen the gorilla is a good daddy on YouTube? Take 50 seconds to enjoy these last moments of freedom. You won't regret it. And we'll watch that over on Streamy. Drove and Death, there are so many people on Streamy stream sniping you right now. Fantastic. More people that use a platform, the more you know active they'll be. You can't have a bunch of streams with only two people watching. You need to get need to get some content on there. Hopefully, people that come over to watch will stream as well. It's pretty much a free-for-all for whatever you want to put up, whether it's commentary or uh, watching videos or playing video games, at least from what I've seen. I'm watching different streams here and there. Tech Epiphany. My name is Lana Oregon, spelled backwards. Thanks. <laughs> That's very clever. BS, stories like this are why I'm okay with kink shaming. Totally not FBI. 18 naked toddlers in the showers of Ross Ranch. From Aaron, I'm desensitized to any kind of kink I hear about. The Kiro stuff. Nothing can even come close. Avenger 29078. You said that your streamy account was going to be called Boomer Groomer. Did you see that Star <laughs> Sargon stole the name? It's almost like I put the name out there because I thought Carl might be fucking stupid enough to register an account called Boomer Groomer. It's his. He can have it. Nicely done, Sargon. It's a big brain move you've done. Of course I went with Mr. Medicker. What the fuck were you thinking? Uh, Morst M. Rip two best friends plays. Liam and Matt are SJW shitheads, and Pat and Wooly are better without them. I'm completely out of the loop on this one. Uh, I don't really watch their stuff, so I couldn't tell you. My foreskin is missing. Defecation on someone's chest is called a hot lunch. Good to know. Uh, the Codeman. Uh, they put dim hands in the anus all the way. Lurik L. Tub girl two or two no. The amazing atheist or amazing atheist should have played "Eat the Poo" song before the story. Punish Creepworks. Eat Mexican and coat her in what she wants. Senpai Trom. Bunty King approved story. He would love this story. Especially if there's a little bit of pee, a little bit of period blood in there. Get a nice little mixture going. Shawas, if you change some letters in Google, it comes out as Soros. It makes sense. A street lamp. Jim, I bought Fallout 76. Please call me a retard. What were you thinking buying Fallout 76? Why did you believe his lies? I think everybody that participated in the Alpha, Beta, or whatever the fuck they were calling it, kind of saw the direction it was going. Awful optimization, shitty UI, bad outdated engine, Terrible frame rate. Physics tied into the frame rate. Did you hear they did an update to try to give you widescreen and all it is is a fucking any file adjustment that breaks the fucking game again? That's great. Buy that collector's edition for $200 and get fucked because you don't get a canvas bag. Really smart shit going on there, Todd. Real, 
Real good businessman he is. Cream of the meme, he was scared shitless. Mike's content, take my wife, please. Michael McLannan, I tried to put myself in my wife's shoes and my shit, <laughs> and my shit in my wife's mouth. Double zero, my wife usually tells me she's tired of my shit. This gentleman's wife would never get tired of his shit. She wants all of it in her tummy. Refined Valley dude, hashtag accelerate white genocide common filth was right again. Inebriated llama, Sargon has no style, he has no grace, he has a gypsy cum all over his face. Mechazard, just got discharged from the hospital and this is the first thing I see. Kim Jong-un, move M&M, T-Dubs is the real, great, true Aryan rapper. From Jimbo, Discord server with Senior Medicare. I, I, I don't use Discord. Ink penification, if you're Big Boss, who's your solid, uh, liquid, and solid, or solidious snake? I, I couldn't even tell you. I'd have to put some thought into that. I don't want to just throw it out there. That's a thinking man's question. I want to give you a good answer. Double O, smoking big tupers in Amish, big of tupers. Greg Schwartz, I'll have this Mario rap played at my bar mitzvah. It's some pretty fucking banging shit. Deep fried lettuce, the T in T-dub stands for tarred. Mr. Ogre, uh, T-dub just made me light the wrong end of my cigar. Super Kitty Pogo Dance, I fucking love DSP and watching him bumble around. Vito Man, big up, or with a big tuper. Gold Man, do you like the movie Gay Niggers from Outer Space? I have not actually seen that cinematic masterpiece. Uh, but I'm sure it is a great film. Heather S., if they can't control you, they will destroy you. You through the media, social media, or through their fully controlled payment processors, credit cards, or banks. Next, we get arrested for wrong speed. Time for yellow vests. Merlo Williams, you keep or you kept us waiting, boss. It's nice to hear the car cough flowing this evening. Cheers. Uh, Sean Turner, just to get Jade out of her cage and squeeze her tits. To be on Twitch, you can go all 1488. Also, don't want to spend money, uh, too much money. Give uh, give it and stream me. Lord Akira, of course you can skirt the censors if you talk special while discussing the Chosen People. How do you think Worski lasted so long on there? Oof. Was he was he the big brain all along? Were we were we mistaken? It's it's a fucking possibility. From Shekelmeister, you didn't see the whole stream. Andy lost about half of the matches to Ralph and begged for rematches. It's a great shit show. They are both evenly matched or they're both be evenly matched bad. Ralph can't even press up B to save his life. It's just shameful. Three days Louis Laval says you're going insane. Thoughts? Is Louis Laval the one that does the Lollicon defense streams all the time? <laughs> I don't fucking care what he says. Kitty Style, shout out NPC88 and Dispatch. Oh, well, there you go, NPC88 and Dispatch. There's your shout out. Mike's content. Did you hear about the news about Agency MIC being run by libertarians while presenting commie left ideals? Uh, no, I did not. Trent Anksky, the real Torjan Scornhammer. Why haven't you condemned your boy Andy for doxing people live in line? Live in line. I, I, I don't know. Who, who is Andy Dox? Punish Creepworks. I can get on Skype if you want me to jump in. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do that. Like I said, I'll, I'll go for it next weekend. I'll do like a Skype call-in thing for people to join in. Have I missed any? I hate when this fucking thing does not load properly. I wanted to make sure I get everybody. Page Fault. Uh, Jim was kidnapped by CIA niggers. Well, they did glow in the dark. Mike's content. Let's go, champ. Data two hearts. When are you moving to stream me? I downloaded it specifically to watch you and Ralph. I will be going over there pretty soon. We're almost done with the super chats. Edward Barney's. Have you heard if the ten drag king? What? Have you heard if the ten drag kid Desmond is amazing? Horrifying pedestry. Merry Christmas. I will have to look that up. Ten drag kid Desmond is amazing. I, I will see if there's like a story of that out there. All right, we're back to Are You a Fan of Sports? Which, not huge into. Watch it occasionally, but not uh, not a super fan. All right, guys. Uh, thank you for coming out. I'm going to move over to Streamy. Give me a half an hour. I'm going to have some dinner. Go get something to eat yourself. Take a shit. Take a piss. Uh, reminisce about that fantastic story of a Reddit uh, user and his wife uh, shitting in her mouth. Of course, that's romantic. I'm sure your significant other would love to hear that fucking story. Uh, and then we will jump over to Streamy. A link is in the description. A link is on the screen. Stream me, it's stream.me backslash Mr. Medicare. We'll be starting in a half an hour, so about 5.40 Central Standard Time. Adjust accordingly. Uh, I will see you there. Oh, we got, well, I'll read this one on the way out. 
And uh, final super chat, Gunther Slagathor. Purple Nurgle loves you. I think you may have skipped my earlier super chat. I apologize if I did. Occasionally this thing can be a little bit iffy when loading them up. All right. Uh, again, next weekend, if you're going to just stick on YouTube, I will be doing a Sunday Funny, a more proper one. I have some funny shit in store. Again, streaming in about a half an hour. A little bit of Christian. Got the Vor Art Contest coming up and a few other things. So I will see you over there. Enjoy the rest of your weekend if I don't, and I will see you next Sunday.